Hi Divine Feminines, when I tell you I just tried to do this video four times and I'm having struggling speaking. Like these Divine Masculines, they're just like, just speechless right now. Um, I feel like what has hit them was the fact that in this whole situation here, um, with this crazy virus situation going on, they are missing you hard, Divine Feminines. We have I Still Love You at the bottom of the deck. And they are thinking about you really hard. Like, the fact that we're all in isolation right now, you know, is really hitting them hard. That they honestly wish that they can be isolated with you, Divine Feminines. Um, it's ripping them up inside. I feel like for all of us, honestly, you know, we're trying new things to get out of this, like, stir craziness. This, I won't say depression, but we're... You know, th this is a hard time for all of us. So we're just trying to just stay sane. And I feel like you're a divine masculine. They're really thinking about you hard here. We have, I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions here. It's clarified with seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. That's not always easy to deal with. They know you're right, but they know when they come around and see you, this is what they're being reminded of. You know, they know that you're right. They know it. And seeing you reminds me that you were right this whole time, that I should have listened to you, that I should, listen, I should have not listened to the opinions of other people. And that's not easy for them to deal with here. You know, and he's, they're saying, I'm saying he or she, but obviously you can switch gender roles. You know, they're saying I'm not the same person that you remember. They have literally grown. Some of them have really awakening here. You know, they have awakened. They, and they're awakening right now as we speak for some because they're seeing how life is kind of short right now, just for all of us as a collective here. And, you know, they're saying I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid here. He's not the same person that, they, that you remember. They're not this narcissistic you know, person, you know, they, they're learning from their mistakes and they want to be authentic now, but, and they're no longer afraid, but I feel like for some of them, it's kind of cheesy to reach out to you now. Like I've seen a meme somewhere, you know, that says like, you know, I'm just thinking about you. I'm thinking about how life is short because of this coronavirus. Like some of you might have heard from them. Some of you, they might have said that, but if they haven't, they're just dreaming about you. Like their minds are stuck on you, divine feminists, and that you will be together again because they're seeing the signs. You know, they're, oh my God. Some of them are really close in with these karmics, y'all. And if they have children with them, they are going through it. If not, they're literally missing you, you. Like their emotions are for you. If they don't have kids, you know, if they are single, you know, they're kicking themselves like, man, like I'm kind of realization that I'm in love with my divine feminine or, or I still hold feelings for them. But all of this, they're thinking about you. They want to be authentic. You've been in their dreams. They're saying we will be together again. And guys, we are in lockdown mode, right? So they are stalking you. They have nothing else to do but try to stalk you and look you, look you up online. Some of them are trying to see who you're isolated with. Some of them are really jealous right now because some of them think that you're with somebody and you're, you know... <laughs> You're um, being intimate with somebody um, as I, I had to get that out here. Um, but they're saying, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. Because I feel like for some of you, maybe you guys have moved on. You are with a new person. You're on social media posting this new person. And they're breaking their heart. They're on this deep regret. If you guys are not with anybody else, it's just that they're looking you up online. Divine Feminines, if you are posting, they are seeing it. Even if you block them, they're seeing it here. And they're sorry that I couldn't do right by you because they're getting hit with this regret. Whatever they saw online, Divine Feminines, tell me in the comments. If you guys posted something, you feel that they saw this, let me know what you guys posted because they're feeling really shitty and they're in deep regret right now. All right, guys. We have the Nine of Cups. Oops, sorry, guys. We have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. With this page of cups, ten of cups here, you guys are their wish fulfillment. You, They want a happy life with you, you know. I feel like for some of them, they're going to reach out with this page of cups because they're just concerned about your well-being. They just want to check up on you and see how you're doing, you know. Don't get your high hopes up. You know, what I'm saying is that I feel like for some of you, we have the five of swords. I feel like this is more your energy, guys. Oh, guys, my, I haven't, yeah, listen, my, I'm sorry my hands are, like, super dry here, but I've been washing my hands, like, constantly and i just feel so dry but anyway um 
the fact that source here they want to talk because they do regret what happened they their minds are literally going back and forth over what happened between you guys here this betrayal and i feel like they just want to reach out and check up on you but i feel like for some they don't know if you're gonna take it here Whoop. oh my god sorry guys i am dropping everything i know you're right but i need to come to my own conclusions here so yeah they're in regret here i see you know i sense it with this card they really hate how they treated you reality is hitting them hard right now i feel like some of them are going through the dark night of the soul where they're in this deep depression that they have to go within to get out of it here um but this regret is really hard on them right now and the fact that you know we're all kind of quarantined here is really hitting them that they really want to speak to you this loss is hurting them really bad because you guys are an emotional fulfillment for them and their cups are overflowed not overflowed but they're lacking here and you know they want to come forward with the chariot your divine masculine could be a cancer scorpio or pisces we have air energy here with this king of swords gemini libra aquarius or a cancer here so we have double cancer energy strong cancer energy right now seeing you reminds me of the things i know deep down that's not always easy to deal with because i feel like divine feminists this this is i'm getting this is more so your energy because you told them there was shit that you physically like showed them to their face what this karmic was doing here and again karmic doesn't have to be a love interest it could be a family member co-worker but they're, they're seeing that you told them the shit that was about to happen, and it happened, and now they just feel stupid. They're in this regret here. Or this could be that they're going to approach you, and they're going to be in this king of source energy and just tell you straight up that the situation is done with. And they're not going to be motion, motions. They're not going to show emotions here. They're just, again, I feel like for some, they're going to check up on you just to see how you're doing. You know, um... But I want to clarify this King of Swords. I just want to see. Yeah. King of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Ew. Yeah. So he's <laughs> your divine masculine, guys. When this King of Swords is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, this is very, very closed off energy here. Very closed off energy. I feel like they don't want to let you go, but they're not showing it. And again, they're bottling up there i feel like they're gonna explode here and they're just they're just really um keeping things within and they're not expressing themselves here i feel like like i said they do want to communicate but they don't know how and my energy just feels like off i'm not saying person to remember yeah so a lesson was learned here something could have happened um within this week here um with these divine masculines they're finally seeing the truth in a situation here again it could be karmic um but they're seeing it for what it is they're going through a karmic cycle that's showing them the reality of things you know um geez i cannot talk today guys like they are wrestle wrestle energy here and they want to communicate and come towards you because with the eight of wands here dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius they want to communicate with you they're they no longer afraid but they're not coming towards you right now because they still have karmic lessons to learn so don't get confused by this guys i read the cards but i'm telling you right now they are keeping this in they want to communicate they're trying to get out of this chaotic situation you know out of this chaos but they're not coming in yet you know this person isn't paying attention to what's on the ground they're paying attention to these wands that are high not in the sky but they're not on ground they're not really paying attention to coming towards you right now because they're they're occupied with other things right now clarify you have been in my dreams yeah Wow, the three of wands. Wow, what a dream card here with the three of wands. Because they're man of, I feel like your manifestations is working to bring them back into your lives and you're marrying each other. You, you guys are both manifesting each other back into your lives. I feel like you guys are both dreaming about each other. You guys are speaking telepathically here. Um, keep doing that because you guys are hearing each other. But again, yeah, like I said, they're not going to take action yet. They're it's a hangman. They're not coming for it. We have the two of swords here. Um, they don't get hyped by this right now. I'm telling you guys, my cards just thank you, thank you. <laughs> they're not coming in right now, um, because they're still going through. Obviously, they can't. I mean, I feel like some of you they they're gonna hit you up to check on you, but obviously they can't come because we're all still, you know, dealing with this shit. So I looked you up and I would see what you've been up to. And this is what I'm saying. We have the Eight of Swords with the Hierophant here. So for some of them, they could be with the karma that they feel trapped in. If they're married, committed relationship, um, 
they just, they literally feel stuck. We can't go anywhere, guys. I don't want to keep bringing up this virus, but we really can't go anywhere. So they're looking at you offline secretly here. And I feel like what they found online for some of you is that you, you started a new journey. You're taking care of yourself. You're taking a leap of faith here and starting your own journey. You know, the fool is the star of the tarot deck. So you're going on a new lifelong chapter without them and they're feeling this pain right now or this could be them after we get out of this chaotic situation here in the world they're gonna break up with this person because you see people true colors when you're stuck with them you know for weeks on end you know especially if these they have kids with this with this karmic the kids are not in school so they're going nuts in this household if they live with the karmic if they don't they just feel stuck on how to commit to you divine feminists on on how to start this new chapter. Your divine masculine could be a Taurus. Maybe they're getting guidance on how to get unstuck and try to reach out to you here as well. Um, but, you know, I feel like they're feeling really, wow, I, that just came out like, that was kind of weird. Okay, I'm sorry I can write by you and exactly. We have the star here in reverse. This is their Aquarius card. So they're feeling, again, like I was saying, this disappointment here. They're not happy with the sun in reverse because I feel like you guys are just chilling, Divine Feminist. You're growing. You're being, you're independent. You're, you're living your life. You're relaxing with this wine here, reading a book, taking care of yourself right now. Right? They're freaking going through chaos with this karmic here. But again, this could mean totally, you know, two different things here to where they feel stuck with this karmic. And, um, you know, they see you taking a, they want to take a leap of faith or they look you up online to see what you went up to. And, you know, they're, they're seeing as you're living a life and they just feel stuck on this depression situation they are in with this karmic, but they're gaining shift to get out of this with the Leo card. And I just want to say, I apologize because I just feel super off with this reading. They're just really anxious right now. Yeah. Oh, judgment with the magician here. I just had to, I'm sorry, I had to clarify this judgment. I didn't mean to like just clarify it by myself. But yeah, I'm not the same person that you remember. This manipulation that they were causing for some of you divine feminists is completely gone. They're not the same person here. And they're seeing that. They're looking deep within themselves because you're looking deep within yourself. You're trying to do things to change your life, divine feminists. And like I said, you're marrying each other here. So Again, they're not going to come around. Um, they do still love you. They know that you, got, you guys are going to be together again. Maybe after, hopefully, I don't know when all this shit is going to end. But I feel like you're going to hear something from them uh, for some of you. Not all. Again, this is a personal reading here. Um, so just be mindful of that. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So uh, what else? What is divine? Whoop. Got a flyer. All right, wedding rings. Wow, union, Mary, soul connection, eternal love. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak. Yes, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Like, I'm telling you, like, everyone is getting a huge awakening as a collective, as a world right now. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Back in the deck, we have not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, exactly. Lack confidence. Self-sabotage, flares slash ego issues, and jealousy. So they're jealous because I feel like for some of you, you are living your life. You're taking a new start and you're taking care of yourselves, divine feminines. I know this is a rough time for everybody, but, you know, I've, I've oh, you guys are really marrying each other because you're trying to heal and so are your divine masculines here. I keep saying that, but geez, it's just so obvious in this reading here. And they are going to remove themselves from a toxic relationship. Whatever this thing that they're trapped in, they are going to remove themselves, but they're frustrated right now. And you were their emotional fulfillment, divine feminines, and they really want that back. Like they cannot stop thinking about you. Even if they're not thinking about you during the day, when they go to sleep at night, they, you, like, they can't not not unsee you or not think about you because no matter what, they're not thinking about you during the day. Well, you're you're coming up in their dreams. If you're not in their dreams, they're thinking about you constantly. What is she doing? Who is she isolated with? You know, is she with somebody? Like they really want to marry you with this you oh, internal love. Not even marry. I don't want to say wedding rings here because come on, guys. I don't I don't want to speak in a damn fantasy world. Um, you know, with these twin flame relationships, I try to like pull it back. Because some of these cars you can take literal here, you know, of course you're not going to get married if you've been in separation for so long. That's, I'm a Virgo. It's common sense. Like, but this union here, it's coming. 
But you guys still both need to heal. You guys both need to heal and gain your freedom and this Nine of Pentacles energy here. And I feel like this is your energy here too, Divine Feminines, because you're disappointed. You're sad, you know, that you're not with him. But I'm glad that you're, if you, if you guys are feeling sad right now, you have to put energy into doing things that make you happy. Honestly, guys, it's the only thing that we can do right now. Um, you know, have a bottle of wine, read a book, turn the TV off, walk, take a walk. If you feel yourself getting stuck in this depressing energy, thinking about what your divine masculine is doing with this karma, get up. You got to get up. You got to get up and, and do something. You know, I don't even know if that's just walking down the hallway in your house and walking back. I don't know. But, you know, I'm going to start rambling here. But um, they're really anxious. Like, jeez, I am going to clear my energy after this reading because... They are all out of whack today. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Give your relationship a chance. And this could be the one. Yeah, they're seeing it. And they're paying attention to these red flags in their scenario right now. Or I feel like the signs are cautioning you when it comes to these love messages. Is that they're seeing these signs within this karmic. And they're seeing how that they're trapped right now. Um, or this could also be that for some of them. They're seeing the red flags that they've seen in your relationship when you guys were in union here. You know, because some divine feminines, again, these divine masculines are growing into divine masculines, but as divine feminines, we had to grow into a divine feminines, right? So at a one point, we were being the dramatic ones, you know, the chaotic ones. We had to grow into being divine feminines here. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to catch up to you, divine feminists. And we've learned a lot in our journey, but we still have healing and taking care of ourselves. You know, we still have that to do here. Uh, I'm just going to clarify, make the effort here. Yeah. Because they're, they're sad and heartbroken over you here. We have the nine of wands and they just want to, I feel like they're over giving in their situation here, but it also... This, the Six of Pentacles clarify with make the effort here. They are going to go above, be, above, what is that saying? Above and beyond. Yeah, I'm losing my mind, guys. But could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. But when they come make this effort, they're going to give to the point that I feel like for some of you, they're going to think that you're overly giving here. Um, so just be mindful of that because some of them could, when they, when you guys get into a union here, they could become kind of clingy, which is fine, because I feel like we're twin flames, whatever. We want them to be there. Um, but they're getting the strength to work on this partnership with you here. And the will is working in our favor, divine feminines here. It's just a period of stagnation. You know, they know that you're the one. They know that you already met the romantic partner you seek. They know this, but they this situation, this had to happen as a collective. We're going through a huge awakening right now here. And over in Virgo um, energy, your person could be a hermit. Um, so I am going to see what the time frame is of when this, when they're, some of them, when they are, are going to reach out. Again, this is a uh, um, collective reading and exactly not, not the right time within the next few months. So honestly, do not get your hopes down. Do not cuss me out <laughs> Uh, comments because this energy is just not right. Like I said, they're not coming for it. It's not the right time, guys. I don't even know what the what the title is because <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. Everyone is just feeling wacky right now. But I really hope this helps you again. I apologize. I apologize if this reading was kind of wacky. Um, this energy just really threw me the hell off because their energy is really like an anxiety, chaotic mess right now. So I apologize for that. I really hope this helps you guys. Take care.